<laughs> this is definitely gonna be tough getting Daisy in here and her letting me milk her. So I'm gonna definitely be doing a lot of research today, try to anyway, on how to milk a wild cow. <laughs> Because, I mean, she's obviously terrified when she comes in here. But I'm so thankful that she actually does come into the stanchion. Um, I wish I had more time. I wish I had, like, a whole month to get her used to it. Get her used to the stanchion. And then get her used to me locking her head in with the, the head gate. And then get her used to me touching her and petting her and touching her bag. So I just wish I had more time. So, I mean, we're just going to take it one day at a time. Um, I don't know if I want to try to lock her head in next time or just wait another time. I guess I'm going to have to have this one over already locked and ready to go. So then when she sticks her head through, all I have to do is just push this one and lock her in real quick. I just really hope she doesn't freak out when I do that. Um, cause when she, her head's stuck, I'm afraid she's just going to go nuts. So I don't know. But I'm going to try to do research and see what other people do. Because I know other farms don't have the friendliest cattle. They don't have the friendliest cattle. And, I mean, they milk cows. But I know they have a different system, a different setup than I do. That just locks them in. And I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be tough. And then... It's tough getting Sally in here situated, trying to get the milker on her while I'm trying to get Daisy to come in the milk and the right way. And then Sally knocked the milker off and I had to put it back on her. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. But, I mean, we'll get through it. Hopefully in a couple weeks. This is just a distant memory and everything's going smoothly. And she lets me touch her and she doesn't freak out. So, yeah. I'm back. We went inside, had some breakfast, and now we're back out here because Hubby is picking up a calf on his way home from work. So that means that I have to build a new pen and get another pen ready. So I think we're gonna take apart Happy's pen because he's not using it, obviously. We're gonna take it apart. I really like the skid pens. I mean, they work beautifully for calves, but I don't have enough skids to do that again. So. We're gonna take apart Happy's pen and put it up here, up there behind the other calves. And then I think we're gonna put the new calf in it and little Squirt because he's smaller than these guys. And it'll be nice having two calves to each pen. And then I gotta try to figure out some kind of fencing to put up, but it'll work. I'm excited, excited to see the new calf and get this done. I changed my plans. I was originally going to put the fence over here behind the, the calves here, but I think I'm going to put them here because I already have two fences up. It makes two sides of a fence. So then I only have to do a back and a side. And it's pretty flat in here too, so they won't be on too much of a hill. So I think we're going to put them here instead. That'll work out better. I don't have to put up nearly as much fencing and they'll have more space. So I think that'll work out better. Um, I definitely gotta try to put Max in with the calves though, because being up here in this corner, 
I mean, it's right with the other cows, but I'm still worried about coyotes. So, and that's really Max's job is to protect the animals from coyotes. So I'm definitely going to try to put Max in with the calves, at least this group of calves tonight. Take this side of the calf fence, just make it go straight and then bring my other fencing like this. Um, that would be easier. Then I don't have to put up nearly as much fencing because I don't have a lot, but I'll still put up two pens and then Max, that gives the calves more space and Max more space. So then I can put Max in with these calves and see how he does before we bring the new baby home. And if Max doesn't work, I always have Sammy. I can use Sammy. Maybe I'll just use Sammy because Sammy's a little calmer than Max is. So that's the plan. It might change again because I'm always changing my mind. So yeah. Let's see. Finally, my cameraman left me, but we are finally done. I'll show you what we did. Okay, so I reconstructed Happy's pen and I put extra boards in it this time. So it didn't have this board last time or that board there last time. So I did that, that's new, and I put feed bags on it. And then I put the, the plastic back on, the skirting stuff back on it. So it's a lot stronger and it'll stay warmer. So I just got to put hay in it and then we cleared out some brush here. This was more grown up. We put in some T-posts and put this wire up because I don't have any more calf um, chicken wire. I don't have any more of that. So we put this uh, garden wire up. So I took it up and around and it stops at this tree. So now I'm going to take this side of the fence and bring it over. So then that'll give all the calves more space and I'm gonna put Sammy in with them. So that'll give him more space to, to roam around and bark at deer, birds or whatever. And he can keep the coyotes away from the calves. So we're gonna do that and hopefully Sammy likes the calves better than Max did. Calves are happy. They've been running around. They figured out that they have more space to run. You guys are so happy. I still got to put um, straw in the new pen because I just think four in this pen is going to be too much. I really hope that they'll be okay putting the new one in here with them. I mean, it's going to be tough, but I don't, I don't think I have enough wire to separate this. So hopefully this works for now. You are very happy. <laughs> Getting your exercise. Okay, now I'm going to get Sammy, and I'm going to see if I can put him in with the calves. I hope he does good. I think he will. He's a much calmer dog than uh, Max is, so we're going to see how he does.
real happy. So much better than Max. He He's definitely calmer and Max is such a security cat. So I think this will go good. I'm so excited. Yeah, he's going to babysit for us. Yeah, and he's going to be so happy in here with them. I'm so glad. Okay, everybody needs to calm down though. They knocked over their water. They're so wound up. Having that little bit of extra space. I know, I'd love to let you out happy. I really would. I'm really thinking about just putting a ring in Happy's nose and letting him out, letting him out and see what he does. Because last time he got out, I mean, he went crazy. He was even trying to suck on Daisy. And I mean, she started kicking him and she's like, what are you doing? So I don't know if that'll work or not, but I'm really tempted to try it because I really just want to let him out with everybody else. I really don't want him cooped in here. So maybe we'll try it soon. Everybody's just wound up. What do you think? What do you guys think? More exercise? You're getting a buddy tonight. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of you, Sammy. I'm so proud of you. It makes me so happy to see him, like, okay with the calves and happy to be in here with them. So... That really makes me happy. So I'm excited to get the camp tonight and see how he does with the other babies. So keep watching, stay tuned. See you later.